In this video, we're going to make the trip from West Palm Beach to Miami on the Bright Line. It's coming right up. We're going to take a look at uh, the Bright Line parking structure, which is right across the street from the terminal. And we're going to show you just how close it is, because we're right there is the entrance to the terminal. As we came in, my wife's got her ticket in hand and she's scanning it to open the gates into the boarding area. The first stop, of course, is going to be security. After clearing security, we go inside and we're just taking a little bit of a look at what's here. You'll see the uh, chairs have power connectors on all the chairs. Uh, we spent a little time there, now it's time to board the train. And Cheryl's getting on the train so nice and easy. Once we're on the train, it was a kind of a wet day, a little bit ugly. And so we're looking out the window. You can get a sense of the speed we're passing, the bright line going the other direction. The train would actually reach speeds of about 70 miles an hour uh, on the trip in. Now, when it opens up to Orlando, it'll get a lot faster, going as much as 120 miles an hour. We're headed south. Uh, we're getting ready to approach uh, Miami in just a minute. And in fact, we're pulling into the Miami station right now. Now the trip took a little longer than the clips I showed you, but it gives you an idea of what the process is like. When we get to park here, we can get off of the Bright Line in Miami, and we're gonna take a, a tour of the terminal. We have a representative from Bright Line with us, and so we're gonna take a look at all of the functions in the terminal. Now you can see Cheryl's uh, getting her scooter turned around, and she's headed out toward the, the exit. On the right, right there's an accessible restroom, big enough for the scooter and Cheryl to get in and turn around, take care of whatever needed to be done. Now I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. Cheryl wanted to go out and, and shoot a little video and look at the train. Uh, we we're both kind of train fans. So this video is sped up about three times normal. And we're going to fly down here and get ready to go downstairs. This is the boarding platform. We're going to go in and we're going to go downstairs to get to it. Pretty good bunch of people are coming in off the train. We'll slide, uh, there's an ele elevator and escalator and steps. We're gonna slide over to the elevator. We come out of the elevator, first thing we do is we leave the terminal area because we're gonna go down another elevator and get our bags. I had checked two bags, so we have to go retrieve them. And then we're gonna come back up and tour the terminal. One of the things that is interesting is that the bag claim, you have to have your bag claim checks. Uh, they really actually check them. You can't take them unless you've got the check, which is so much better than what happens in the airlines and the airport. Now that's one of the ways you exit the terminal. Up here, there's a, another exit we're gonna look at, and that is where you catch shuttles. Uh, Bright Line operates several different shuttles, and you pick up your shuttle out this door right here. We're gonna go up and get a picture taken by this 305. And for those of you that aren't from Miami, uh, that 305 is the area code where the Brightline Terminal is in Miami. So it's just a, a kind of an interesting thing to get your picture by. So that's what we're gonna do right here. Now that we're done with our picture, we're gonna take a tour of the rest of the uh, downstairs area at uh, the Miami Brightline Terminal. Uh, straight ahead is a juice bar, so we're gonna go in and. Take a quick look at that, and that hallway right there leads to restrooms, and Cheryl's gonna get a video tour of the accessible female restroom. You can get coffee and juice and variety of things here uh, on the ground floor. I said Cheryl's gonna do it, go down and take advantage of the restroom and give you a quick tour of it. Uh, you'll see as we go in that it it is uh, very spacious, got lots of room. And like everything else associated with Brightline we've seen, it's just well designed for people with, that travel with uh, mobility devices, whether it's a walker, scooter, wheelchair. 
you'll see she's gonna open the door and slide into it and you'll see there's plenty of space you know you've got a sink that you can get up underneath uh, you've got a commode with uh, two rails on it and again enough space you can put your chair next to it in front of it and have uh, room to get around now our guide is telling us that there's 800 luxury apartments upstairs that are all rented out uh, Bright Line was a new building, of course it's right downtown, so it was a, a very desirable place for people to come. We're going to run upstairs to the terminal level. Now that we're on the terminal level, our guide is telling us that over there on the right is where the uh, tri-rail uh, station is going to be. So for individuals in the future, you'll be able to connect from uh, the Bright Line to the tri-link and get right out to the airport which is going to make it very uh, convenient. Again, we sped the video up. We're headed over toward the uh, Brightline uh, terminal. That sh shopping area there is no longer open. Uh, they're going to repurpose that space. Now, since we came out and had to go back in, our guy's using his key to let us in. And we got to go through security again. You'll get a better look at what the security process at Brightline is. So over on the right is the luggage and bag scanner. We'll go over and put all of our stuff in that. And then these uh, vertical uh, posts can make up the scanner that's used to check people. So much faster and easier than the way it's done in most uh, airports. This, the big thing is getting the bags off the cart and getting them fed into the conveyor belt. We're going to have a little struggle there with the camera and me getting off the bag po the bag that's hung on the back we'll get that taken care of and uh, we're gonna go off into the station if I was traveling lighter it wouldn't have taken so long but she just drives through no manual screening no nothing it was just that easy to get through Security. On the left, we have a little pop-up shop. Sells candles, among other things, that are have a very specific scent, and it's called the Bright Line scent. A little bit of citrus to it. Uh, there's the shopping opportunities, and straight ahead you see the Mary Mary bar. And there's an interesting story. If you get to a Bright Line station, you'll have to ask them why it's named that. Might have something to do with uh, uh, old railroad history. We're going to go back in and we're going to take a little bit of a look around the terminal here in Miami and we're going to go into the uh, Priority Lounge. Uh, on Brightline there's two classes of service. There's uh, the Smart Fare and Premium. Uh, Smart Fare and Premium both have the same amenities in the waiting room except the Premium does have some food and beverage available that are included. Yeah, on the right there where you go by an automated shopping place. So if you want to go in, you scan your credit card on the way in and it'll check what you're taking out and, and bill you for it. As we come into the um, premium lounge, you notice we've got some desks. And everything you look at, where there's a basically where there's a chair, there's power available. Uh, there'll be both AC and uh, USB connectors, so you can get your devices charged. Now there's a bunch of people here, so I'm going to cut this video a little bit short. But there is a table of food. We went into the conference room and held a live show there that uh, Sunday night. We're on our way out now. We're going to get uh, our ride is here. We're going over to the JW Marriott. And we're going to use this not very nice accessible shuttle. So you'll see she get in the shuttle. Now, d do me a favor. If you're getting value out of this, hit the like and put a comment down below. In fact, let me ask you a question. Have you ridden the Bright Line, or is the Bright Line something that you would think about riding? So if you would, let me know in the, in the comments down below. Uh, we use this sh shuttle service to go uh, to the hotel and from the hotel to the airport the next day. It worked really well. Just a, a very nice um, process with this particular shuttle company. And I'll put a link in the description to the sh shuttle company. Let's see, she's going, he's going to get the safety strap out of the way and she's going to drive on. And, and in a minute, she'll drive off. I will say this, they were very safety conscious. After she gets in, they'll come back and strap her down, make sure 
her seat belt's tied. Make sure she's got a seat belt on her. Excuse me. Make sure that her wheels are tied down and that she has a safety belt on her. Um, in just a, in a minute, you're going to see a, a page pop up that has a, a my face in a round box on the bottom left. If you click my face, that'll subscribe you. And on the right, you've got a box that has a playlist of videos you might enjoy. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.